Welcome back to Planet Base. Since the last episode, there has been a number of updates to models and various other aspects of the game, but we're going to continue with Mars Colony 1 and make it the best colony known to man, pretty much. It's going to be the best colony of all time, believe me. So, in the last episode, we were continuing to work on the base and we had done a number of different aspects to it and stopped a number of these things from happening. Uh, mainly because we'd run out of energy, we were struggling with energy, we were struggling with a lot of different things. And in this episode we're going to try and improve on that and make it a bit better uh, when it comes to sustainability. Now, we need to just see these new colonists. So we have Leo O'Connell, who's our biologist, and Hannah Bean, who's also our biologist. So this is because when we were last here, we needed to do some work on this. So let's have a look. Uh, see, we've updated this game a little bit, and I don't know where. Ah, here we go. So we were looking for processors uh, to make processors, and we've got vegetables here. Okay. So this is still. Ah, that was it. We were looking for make robots as well. So we have this working with that. Ah, that was it. We needed more starch and we needed more metal and we're waiting for all of that to arrive, to be honest. Now, if I remember rightly, we may have had an issue with one of our engineers. Was it that we didn't have any <laughs> because they died? I suspect, in fact, I've actually got a feeling that was what it was. Yeah, there's no engineers. So what we will do is request that for the next one. Uh, We need landing permissions, and we need to. We'll request for that, and we actually could do another medic as well. So that'll be what we need. And when our engineer arrives, he can look at fixing these machines that we have because they need to be fixed. We are struggling. We have two of the robots, both of which need fixing. We do seem to have quite a lot of uh, food now being made, which is a good thing, because I believe beforehand we were struggling for food as well. We have three meals, we have some veg and some meat. So we're doing okay. He says. Energy wise, Oh, we seem to be cooking with that. Now, let's turn this back on. Okay. We do seem to have enough energy being stored as well for the night. That is our bot workshop, which we're waiting for another bot to be made. Again, once the engineer arrives, we will be fine. We're going to need another one of these power collectors as well. So we've got quite a bit of stuff that we need to do, and we need to make a exterior. Well, the question is how much, yes, we have enough. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'd better put it there then. 
So our constructor bot will go out and make that as well. That should give us indefinitely enough energy to last us throughout the night. And we have still got enough metal coming through as well, because they are still mining in there. Of course, this helps as well. We have some workers working on that. We probably could do with a few more workers as well. So, a spaceship is arriving. It's our colonist ship, so hopefully this will bring us an engineer. And a medic. We have a medic and an engineer. Fantastic. That's what exactly what we needed. I think we should bring in... Let's have a look. Base management, landing permissions. So we have two of each. Do we? Ooh. Didn't know that, actually. Uh, so... We could do... We've got enough workers, I think. Um, I think we can leave it there for the time being. And they should hopefully be able to sort themselves out. But these are doing pretty well as well. Now, we may need another bed in here as well. So let's have a look. And well, I have that amount of three. We do need some more. Oh, so the semiconductor foundries are being made. That will then let us build the bots that we need. Indeed, they are actually at work building those bots. That's going to create a carrier bot, which is definitely something that we need. Certainly a new one, anyway. And it looks like those ones have already been fixed, which is fantastic. We're back on schedule now. Except for this one here, which doesn't he needs fixing as well. So I think what's going to happen now is if he isn't already, it certainly seems like it. Our engineer is going straight out to uh, help our carrier bot. I say our constructor bot. And what if we hear a trading ship? Let's have a look and see what this training ship can give us. So, some semiconductors, a driller bot. Now, a driller bot would be interesting, but we don't need it. We have enough medical supplies. We have enough else to kind of last us for a bit. Coins we don't particularly need. And semiconductors, we, we've got enough. So, I'm afraid that we'll be saying goodbye. Bye. So, if we look now, what we have is we have enough meat, we have enough vegetables. They are making meals. And our power collector's also been built. So let's have a look at that. That is now done. We can now start to look at other things to build. So we have got the option of a starport, but we don't want that just yet. Uh, we could do with... I mean, energy-wise, we're doing fine. So let's see what else we can build internally. A lab? Do we have a lab? I think we have one here. Yes, the lab's here. We have our workbenches and tissue synthesizers. So that is doing fine as well. Storage we already have. We have a robotics family. But what about a control center? Or a bar, or a multi-dome. 
there's a number of different things that we can use and I think at this moment in time I mean is that our factory yes that's our factory do we need anything else in here we could do the spares and an arms work. so let's put them in and an arms workshop as well And when we get some more engineers, they can work on that as well. So, uh, is that one done? We have a bot workshop still working away. Create another carrier bot. See, the more carrier bots that we have, that will mean that the workers can then go and work in the mine or work operating these processes over here. We have some more people coming by the looks of it. Is it? Yes. So our spares workshop has now been built. And we have a medic. Which is good. So it's good to have a couple of medics just in case. What we will do is look to change the landing permissions. Uh, I think uh, that is helpful then and that was pretty close by the looks of it yes that was pretty close I think we need to start looking now to build our control center and we have enough bioplastic and we have, I think, enough metal. We'll wait till we get some more metal, I think. So our vegetable area is looking pretty good. The workbench and tissue synthesizer is looking good. Now, can we add anything more into here? No. So they're working on metal supply, uh, thingy supplies for our med packs. What I would say is we may not necessarily need this soon. But med packs are fine. We can, you know, we can hold them. We've got four. We could do with probably some more over time. What about in here? What else can we add? We can add some plants or another small table. The drinking fountain might be we've got that and we have the uh, video screen as well I think another table is going to be definitely of some use so we should probably put one or more of them in and we're running out of food on there but no we're looking fine on there so I don't know what that whinging was all about This is our spares workshop, creating the spares. I wonder if we don't need to actually use that just yet because we don't have our security control area. In which case, we should probably look to create one. I think the perfect place is going to be here. Just got perfect access as well. So we'll create that there. This is mainly because we have our airlock here. And should anything happen to the place, we're going to want our guards to leave the security control center and go straight to the airlock before anything bad happens. Once that has been built, that will give access to there, to there, and to there. Which means it's a pretty good thing for our base then. We probably would do with another one down here as well eventually. Uh, but once we have that, 
we can then start to look at an anti-meteor laser on a telescope and a radio antenna which will be useful for destroying the meteors before they destroy us. This person needs some water by the looks of it. Now our O2 level here is 22% and we may well need a bigger one at some point but we'll have to look at that when we get to it. Whether it becomes a point that we build another one down here I don't know yet. We have another colonist ship so hopefully this will bring us some more engineers. We finally have another engineer. They've got work to do, so they're going to do that. What we do need to do is keep a quick eye on our stats, which is looking like that. We have 22 humans. So in terms of oxygen, we do need to start looking at that, I think. Um, it does generate oxygen for about 20 people we're now at 22 that's not going to be a good effect to stay at I think we may need to look at um, increasing that likewise I think these need to be looked at as well uh, so what we will do is we'll build another external structure I think another solar panel would be of some use, to be honest. There we go. So, construction, as I thought, we are going to need to improve that. Um, I think the only way, really, that we're going to be able to do this is by creating another one temporarily. Uh, oxygen. One and one which doesn't look good. Uh, let's put another one there. And we've got all of this expanse here, so we might as well put some things here as well. It means we can have another control area down here, I think, at some point, unless we put our starport there and move everything around. If there's, anything, if there's one criticism of this game, one thing that they do need to do is make it a bit easier to upgrade your buildings because when you start off small you have to then destroy and, and redeploy those things and they can be pretty tricky. Okay. Now that's still waiting one more bioplastic. oxygen is something we need to be very wary of now okay trading ship has arrived so we'll see if there's anything worthwhile trading they have some food we have a driller bot which would be of some use super extractor patent 
What is that? Um. I don't know what that is, so we'll leave that carrier box we've got enough of. So I think we'll dismiss them. I don't think they're necessary. I don't think we need them. So after this. Okay, so 22% still. We need to be fairly quick about this one. That one needs to be a high priority, I think. So the ore's going. This metal process is still working away. We need two metal. So, we've got two metal processors. We've only got one bioplastic, I presume because we don't actually really need them yet. I think what I will do for the time being, actually, is just stop any further landing permissions coming. So, thanks so much for coming, Engineer, but that is all we're going to have because our oxygen is going to be very low soon and we really can't afford to keep any more which may also actually have an effect on our food production I don't know and I think we're also getting to this point where we our airlock here is going to be a detrimental effect for any structure that we now build out here so to be fair we probably will have another outlook here The problem is now all these connections are being built and we could really do it with some more oxygen. We only have 21% left and we need that to be a little bit higher. So all of these robots are also heading out. They're picking up spares. This will also eventually, I think, move to become a bigger place. I think we're just waiting for our construction robots to just build these. Oh no, we're waiting for the uh, bioplastic. Of which we are still waiting by the looks of things. Oh no, they're taking that out. Some more starch, I think, that we're needing. Yep, so starch is being built, being built, being produced, and being brought to there. Fortunately, we need two for that. Kind of half wish I hadn't made the silly mistake of creating all of these connections straight away. How's our auction looking? 21%. We've still got plenty of, I think we've still got plenty. I think we will be able to do it um, in future. Or oh, any tips for any of you watching? Don't do that in the future. So, coming forward now, we have our connections being built. This is filling up with oxygen as well. It's taking quite a bit out of here actually, which is not a good thing. We should have probably kept it at one. Yeah, it's not particularly ideal that. Um, we only have an 18%. Something we need to be wary of, I think, now. Uh, as we go on. 
the O2 level down here is not looking good at all. To the point where I think we will just disable that structure. I wish there was a way to. Let's get everyone working on the creation of this. Which is our most important thing now. Because this is definitely not good. 16%. Ugh. We'll do it. We'll manage it. Our robots are already on it. This person is taking theirs out. This person is getting the metal for the rest of it. We just need the rest of this to be created, which it's working on. We have... Oh, that's all. We will get this done. have to basically provide a little bit more space for it to do what it needs to do and the best what my plan is now is to create bit well this is already created we're not going to build anything there just yet when we're ready we'll have to drop the connections to various places probably create a connection between that and that which might be possible once these have been destroyed um, we can then create a connection from there to there, then we can make that bigger and that should be able to create a connection to all the four places as it already does. We'll keep this here anyway, just as an addition, no um, thing that we can use. And all going well, we should then be fairly okay. So, in a rather airless atmosphere at the moment, which is getting dwindling further and further, there is some hope. And we can find out what happens in the next episode of Planet Base. <laughs>